meditate a lot, a lot, and with just one single attention just to help with the, the higher energy from the original universe. Every day I thank the councils and thank the power of God and the cosmic for helping humankind to become more enlightened, more loving, and peaceful. Yeah. Uh-huh. How come? Why is it so tight? Why you sit so tight together like that? Is all okay? Yeah? It's good, it's good. Bà chị là giống, giống, <cười> mặt còn trẻ thôi. Ok, here, your place. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Sit. Sit. Lay down, lay down. No shake hand today, lay down. Here, good love, lay down. Ok, lay down there, it's good, it's good. It's good. <cười> ok, bây giờ chưa chịu. It's no problem, don't be afraid. It's no gun, come here. Oh wow, 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 oh it's good. Okay, you lay when you're ready. Don't be afraid, okay? Oh, wow, okay, good. <laughs> okay. Uh, everybody works so hard, so I read you some story, okay? Is the camera, is the microphone working? Oh, good boy. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, again, because sometimes, uh, sometimes you have no time to come up and and sit with the assembly when you're working, right? Yeah. You are outside to work, or you have to clean the house. You translate for the Korean. Yes. Somebody translate. Yes. Good. Okay. And uh, Vietnamese, everybody translate it? Good, good? Okay. Uh, I sit or stand is similar. <laughs> <laughs> trying, to, trying to elevate my, my level. <laughs> oh, the level of consciousness elevates, but the physical make no difference. And the uh, Shekamoni Buddha say there is a four noble truth, you know. <laughs> Birth, death, sickness, and old. <laughs> there are some, oh, there are many stories I haven't read, but all this is read. Yeah, some are read, but some, some are not. Uh, you want to. Read the Sekamoni Buddha uh, 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 previous life. Yeah, many anyway. But you want uh, want something about the the is famous. 
They are very famous. Okay. You want to? There are many stories. Yeah, they are interesting. Yeah, I still have a lot. Um, there's a couple for you to choose. Okay. No. Hey, uh, brother, you 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 could stand up, babies, and then you turn like that so you can leave. Uh, can look at me. Now you. Otherwise, it's too painful. I talked a lot, and <laughs> I will talk a lot, and you'll be in trouble. Okay. <laughs> And maybe you don't mind, but your girlfriend mind when you come home and your knees don't function. That is a big trouble. <laughs> big, big trouble. <laughs> I don't know how how saintly you two are, but the knees is still there. You know, have to be. We have to use it sometime. Okay. Story about the tiger. Story about uh, how to sell your your poor your poverty. The story about the Buddha offer his head. The story about he offer his his life. Uh, the story about somebody always, uh, whenever he open his hand, there are two gold coin come out. Yeah. So the story about uh, a girl who born with the white silk uh, wrap around her body all the time. From the birth to the death, yeah, uh, etc., etc. Which one you want? <laughs> huh? The first one is uh, the, the tiger. Okay, I think you like the tiger because I belong to the tiger. <laughs> Zodiac. You sit probably otherwise get hurt. Okay. David, that's a problem with being tall. That's why I'm not tall. You see, I, I fit everywhere. <laughs> I can do cameraman, I can do many things, I fit everywhere. Okay. You want to go? No. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. This is the, the story about the prince, Moho Tado, something like that. And then offer himself for the tiger, okay? Yeah. According to Buddhism and the believer and the tradition, when you read sutra and all that, you have to put on incense, flower, you know, and bow to the sutra first and thank all the Buddhas and Bodhisattva in ten directions, all respectfully, before you read it, okay? And then you cover the sutra also with silk or, you know, beautiful cloth, and I just make it more popular, yeah, more easy, simple. And I apologize to all the Buddha. I say, if I've done something wrong, according to the tradition, my heart is full of respect. It's just that I cannot always do that. So please, all the sin, whatever I've done wrong, is all on me. At least other people, they hear the names of the Buddha, according to the Sutta, they will get benefit. Yes. Thus I have heard yeah? Anand's Anand story. Yeah? Okay. I am sure many others, uh, masters, would have told their past life sometimes also. Or well, except your master. She she don't tell a lot. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes, yeah, sometimes. But she doesn't like to it's embarrassing for me <laughs> to talk about past life. Okay? Not that my past life is embarrassing. It's just it's it's, it's it sounds too good, so I feel shy, you know, I feel shy. <laughs> now and then I tell you just a little, huh? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, many other uh, uh, master probably told many things also about their past life or about the things with other beings, about how they did sacrifice and all that. Maybe just that because they don't have a disciple like Anan, like a, a live record, recorder. You know, live uh, recorder. That's why. So many stories been lost. Yeah. Uh, and in the case of uh, Jesus Christ, he he can preach only three and a half years, more or less. 
you know. And many stories are lost because no recording, uh, many stories are cut, edited because it's the later generation or later church thing is no good, etc., uh, uh, etc. Et yeah? And in the old time, there's no record. No record player, no camera, no, no nothing. Yeah. And no quick writing like now, you know? Short hand? No. Only long hand. Long, very long. <laughs> Therefore, in the old time, many stories have been lost. Yeah? Mm. It's not like only Buddha knows all this or tells all this. It's just because Buddha has Anan, very special, very special Arhat, tell all his story all from his memories, e extraordinary memories. Yes. Also, he, uh, he, he followed the Buddha to become monk when he was very young. You know, and he became, of course, uh, maybe eating vegetarian, vegan. So his mind is all pure, you know, uh, no no vexation from family or any trouble that most uh, people experience in life. So his <laughs> mind is still clear and simple. Yeah, and he's with the Buddha all the time, all the time. So he don't miss nothing. He hear everything. He hear all the story told by disciples' experiences. And then he remember. Yes. Okay. This person is speaking Chinese or Vietnamese? Here, I'm not very good. I'm too afraid. I'm 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 afraid. <laughs> Thus I have heard, it's from Anan, meaning whatever he heard, he, 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 he told it as is. Yeah. He's a monk, he did not tell lie. He cannot. Okay? And besides, later he became Arhat already. And after he became Arhat, then the, the, the Sangha, the, the whole monk's assembly trusted him to tell the story. Understand? Before that, he wasn't truly very enlightened. So they kicked him out, and then he went, uh, you know, soaking, go into a corner of the forest, meditate. And after, you know, some, some time, he became enlightened. Then the Sangha welcomed him back in, and knowing now that whatever he told will be exactly at ease and truthfully. Yes. Yeah. Also, after uh, uh, Ahat, I mean, uh, you know, very high enlightened. Then the, the mind is even more clear. Yeah, remember everything. Understand? The same like us. Many things you have not remember long, long time already. And when you meditate, it all comes back. Oh, so clear. You don't even want to remember. It keeps coming, coming, coming. And sometimes you shake your head and say, Get out, get, get, get. Get away from me. I don't want to know. I don't want, I don't want to remember. It's all garbage. <laughs> Leave it. Yeah. Sometimes good things, sometimes garbage. Yeah. Why is that when you meditate, everything comes back? Is that true or not? Yes. Yeah. All of you experience like that. Yeah. And some song you don't even know exists, you sing. Yeah. <laughs> After meditation, <laughs> you remember all these songs that you don't even know exist. Right? And you forgot. And then you remember everything. You remember even up to the, when you were two years old, you know. So long, and who did what to you, and you did what to whom, all kind of thing, good or bad, yeah? Yeah, why? Do you understand why? Anybody knows one candy? Sukan kan ma. Bu hui shi de. Tou nao gen qing chu. Concentration. Hmm. Concentration, I told you, concentrate on the Master and the God and the five names. I didn't you, you didn't concentrate on the past. <laughs> what? Mind calm down. Mind calm down. Oh, okay. Anything else? Hmm. 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 Ah, 
啊，他讲什么？在洗脑。啊、哦、，OK， 还有呢？所有的记忆都会记得阿卡西记录。阿卡阿卡沙记录，嗯哼，嗯呢，嗯。因为没有时间。没时间和空间了，哈、啊、哈，嗯，没有时间、空间和运回来过去呢，啊<笑> ，OK， 呀、yeah? ？那些老店铺，他会在里面到处在像赶路一样，到处乱跑，走到哪儿，他哪个地方那个相关的记忆就冒出来。他讲什么？老店铺，老店铺，老店铺，老店铺，老店铺，老店铺，老店铺，老店铺，老店铺，老店铺，老店铺，老啊哈，嗯哼，啊，哎，差不多，每一个人有一点点呢，好，一点点好。面对自己，面对自己，嗯、啊，一点点好，还有。因为跟上帝连线，你到大自然，我们所有的画面都会呈现。啊，跟上帝沟通，上帝哪里管你那个贵家？你那是会给你提醒那些，就是给。You increase your brain cells and you regenerate. Uh, regenerate your brain cell. Yeah, yeah. Ah, ah, that's the scientific. Okay. Ah, 还有呢？没了哈。Okay, 没人拿到了。嗯。这个，这个都是我的了。Okay. All the candies are mine. Yeah, nobody is correct. I mean, correct a little bit. Okay. Yeah, because if you say concentration, then.、Uh, When when you're almost dying, you know, that's when everything comes back like a film, like a movies, fast, fast, very fast. You remember everything, everything from the day you're born until you, the day you are dying. Now, you see, so it's not concentration, yeah. And then it's not uh uh, 细胞恢复，因为那个时候细胞就死了，不是 ？It's dying at that moment when the time you are dying. The、uh, the brain cell also already almost kaput, you know. I go into kaput or kaput. So maybe it's not it's not scientifically saying that it's、uh, regenerated. Maybe we regenerate it when we meditate. That's for sure. Many things regenerated, not just the brain cell. Ah,、huh? all the cells in the body regenerated. And when we read the、uh, uh, master teaching. Cells also regenerated. When we watch video, cell re regenerated. When we listen video,、uh, audio master teaching, you know, a live master teaching, it is better than the、uh, past master teaching. Although past master teaching still help you,、uh, if you don't have any live master, or sometimes you have live master, but the master,、uh, past master also connected with the live master and also help you. Yeah, yeah. Is the thing is, it's, it's just like when we're dying. When you meditate, I mean you're dying, you know, and when you're dead, so all the thing coming back. Yeah, so that when you go, either you remember it all, so that you reborn again, or because you remember, but you're connected with the master power, so master、uh, clean it all, clean it, so that when you go, you you don't have trouble, no obstruction. Yeah, but in the case of other people, when they die. They remember all this, and when they die, they have to reborn to to get whatever, whether good or bad, from their memory. Understand? From the from the subconsciousness. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So a lot, a lot, a lot. But everybody, every of you, is a right a little. Okay. <laughs> so put all together, make a book. <laughs> How to die while living? <laughs> yeah. Okay.、Uh, at this time, Anan was telling us this,、uh, telling telling the assembly of the monk. This is after Buddha、uh, went to Nirvana already. Yeah. Is a、uh, Anan and all the monks get together, and the Anan tell all this so that other monk can write down. That's why we have we have so many、uh, sutra, many holy books from Buddhism. Understand? Yeah. Okay. So he he said like this. Thus I have heard. At one time the Buddha was in、uh, maybe Kas Kapis、uh, Kapilasu some like that a Save.、Huh? Mm. In the in the in the you know the forest of、uh, 
the, the one who gave it to the poor and the needy, and the prince Kida, yeah, the gold garden. You remember? Yeah, okay. Uh, and at the time of, uh, of going out for arm, yeah, they bring their bow and they go out for arm. Uh, the Buddha put on, put on his extra clothes, maybe go outside or something, and, then, and, uh, and I go with him. I mean Anand. Yeah, this is a true story. Yeah. And I, uh, serve, I go accompany him, I walk behind the Buddha. Yeah. When, they, uh, when uh, we arrive in the city, the city uh, we saw an old, old woman and two, 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 two sons, two sons. These two sons of hers is very uh, gangster-like, yeah. Always go and stealing, you know, and robbing people. Uh, has no moral, no no uh, dignity. Yeah. That day, at that moment, uh, the government caught both of them, and then they are going to be chop chop. You know, you know chop chop where, right? At that time, if you steal, probably many time, and then they chop your head. Yeah. At that moment, that's a terrifying moment, I and the Buddha have just arrived. Yeah, I, Anand. Yeah. I say I, so that is more personal here, more true here, okay? I don't say Anand, because whatever he's written here, I, I write it like that. I read like that. So you must remember I, not me, me, huh? Okay. <laughs> and at that time, Three, three of them, I mean the, the mother and the two sons, uh, prostrate in front of the Buddha. And, uh, you know, begging Buddha to save their lives. And then Buddha uh, dispatched me, in order me to go to the king, to ask for their lives, to be saved. After I told the king, what the Buddha have requested, because the Buddha's, you know, personally interference. So, the king, uh, the king obeyed the Buddha's request and uh, set them free, three of them, yeah, uh, two of them, yeah. Uh, even then, uh, three three lives because the two sons are bad, so the mother also kind of accomplice, you know, accomplice or accomplice, accomplice, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Accomplice or accomplice? Accomplished. Accomplished. Oh, no, not accomplished. Accomplice. Accomplice, yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Because of this great uh, favor, yeah, great grace from the Buddha, the three of them uh, went to the, in front of the Buddha, you know, prostrate to him to thank him. Mm. So we prostrate in front of uh, we we'll honor one here. We thank you for for your um, for your grace. You know, as high as a mountain, as deep as the sea. That we both we are still here and alive. We have nothing that we can repay. Your your love. Yeah. Uh, pay, pay obeisance to the world honor one. Uh, please accept just our sincere, most sincere, most grateful hearts. Yeah. So the Buddha say, ah, so good, excellent, excellent. Yeah. Uh, sin or merit? Is this all our do our own doing? Yeah. And then uh, accordingly we reap. Uh, bad uh, karma or, or good uh, reward. So from from today, from now, you you should uh, you should cultivate, you know, virtues, virtuous conduct. So in the future, your life will be better. 
yes. And then you will have more merit and life will be much, much more pleasant and happy, etc. And the three of them say, yes, obeisance to the world honor one. We will obey your uh, teaching, your advice. Yeah. And uh, please accept us to be your disciples. Mm-hmm. Meaning, to become monks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Again. <laughs> All want to become monks. <laughs> Robber, <laughs> murderer, killer, beggars, you know, anybody. You want to become monks. Yeah. So the Buddha said, Yeah, very good, very good. Yes. Uh, if you want to cut off all the bad uh, binding yeah, from the world and to find liberation, I will also I will also accept that. Okay, and then he say, "Welcome, be you." Then uh, they has to hair fall down and <laughs> change the clothes into chasa. I mean. Uh, the clothes of the monks, yeah. Mm. And their faith in the Buddha is unwavering, unwavering, you know, never, never change. It's very solid, yeah. After the Buddha give them initiation, <laughs> I guess, yeah, after the Buddha preached to them, all of their uh, vexation, you know, angry, uh, Frustration, uh, greedy, jealousy, all that is all gone. Uh, clean off, clean off. Meaning all the past karma cleansed. Yeah. And then their mind becomes clear, their heart is open. Uh, and then the two sons immediately, uh, immediately, uh, um, how you say, attain arahat. Oh. And the mother is a little less. Yeah, Anahan is different. Arahat and Anahan is different. Okay. Oh, because seeing thirst, thirst, seeing thirst, I will also praise them very much. I, Anan, eh? also praise them very much. And I was also very, very surprised. Yeah. I do not know why that they, they have such a. Uh, a luck and merit, yeah, immediately saw the Buddha and attained such a high level. Yeah. So I kneel down in front of the Buddha, Anan, and I kneel down in front of the Buddha and say, Obeisance to world honor one. Could you please tell us why these three uh, mother and sons uh, suddenly, you know, has such a, such a blessing? Yeah, that they even uh, attain very high level of spiritual consciousness. Yeah, and have have such a luck to see to meet to have met the Buddha and then become the disciple and monk even. Yeah, so the Buddha say, Anan, listen, I will tell you. You should know. <coughs> Long, long, long time, long, long, many and many eons ago. Yeah. Also on this planet, everything happened on this planet. <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> there was a king named Mahaladana. He uh, ruled over 3,000 smaller countries. Yeah. He had two sons. The first son is Maha. Punabing, whatever, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's Vietnamese. <laughs> the second son named Mahadeva, yeah. Oh, oh the three, three sons, sorry. And the third son named Mahatadwa, okay. The, uh, the special, the third one is a special. Mm. He has great merit, he is very virtuous, he is very merciful. And his heart is great. Yeah, his aim is noble. Yeah, he also love people, mm, merciful to them, and he is very filial to his parents, the king and the queen. Yeah, he also offer a lot of help to anyone in need, even to animals. 
Yes, animals also. One time, uh, the king and and his uh, uh, main wife and his concubines and the three sons uh, go together, went together into a forest just for fun. Yeah. Uh, when the king was uh, resting under a shade of a tree, the three princes, the three princes, uh, just uh, went out, went around to look in the forest. Yeah. Uh, far away from, not too far away, but went around in the forest and check in. Yeah. When they went uh, to the uh, uh, one one side of the forest, he saw. They they also one mother tiger, a tigress, and and two uh, uh, small tigers, you know, baby tigers. Yeah. The mother is uh, is very skinny. Only skin cover her bones, and uh, he she she was uh, like. Uh, Bending down on the on the on the on on the a stone, and her breath is almost like gone. Yeah, yeah. She's dying. Yeah, she's dying. Uh, hung of hunger. Uh, and the two children, the two little tigers, yeah, are curling up uh, in in her belly, even though three of them saw humans, but they don't move. Too too tired. I think they're too exhausted, hungry. Many days, I guess. Yeah. But the mother tiger seems seems somehow want to eat the two little babies. Yeah. So when the the third prince Mahatadwa saw that, he told his two elder brother. Uh, Brothers, yeah. Uh, do you think that? Uh, do you think as I think? Look like the mother tiger wanted to eat this, her two two children, two babies. You think so? And uh, the two say, yeah, yeah. We also think like that. It looked like that. Uh, and then the 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 third younger princess asked, um, dear brothers. What do the tigers normally eat? Yeah. So the two brothers, you know, older know better. Say, oh, they normally eat uh, flesh and blood. You know, uh, you know, uh, freshly, fresh, fresh flesh and fresh blood. And then the prince, the younger prince, the third prince asked, then at this time, do you think anybody can help them? So the two. Young older brother say no. This seems very difficult, impossible. There's no, no, nothing here can help them. There's no other animals, nothing around, and they're very tired to even hunt, too exhausted to even move. So they cannot hunt, nothing. So at that time, the the Mahatadwa, the third prince, felt very, very sorry, and his compassion aroused. Very deeply in him, he was thinking. Was thinking to himself. Life after life, I live and die, live and die, so many times. But those bodies has only bring trouble, make more karma. Of you know, it's nothing, nothing uh, helpful to anybody. Those are life after life, different body had not helped anyone. Mm. So maybe this time I should just uh, forsake this, you know, um, troublesome body, you know, full of greed and and trouble and sorrow and jealousy, you know, and arrogance, uh, uh, ignorance. Yeah, and then I give it to the the tiger, my body. Then, and then, to exchange in exchange, I might have. And I pray for the merciful uh, wisdom, you know, the long-lasting, forever merciful wisdom. Okay. 
And then so he, he go a little bit faster in front of the two brothers and then afterward, you know, afterward for a long, uh, bit long distance away and he told the two brothers, oh, please, uh, two elder brothers, you, you go first, go back to <laughs> our parents. I, I have a little bit uh, private thing to take care. So they thought that he, they won't probably go to do something, you know? Yeah. So the, the both of the brothers left. Just go, go, go. Yeah. And then the younger brother go back to the, to the tiger where they were. And then, and then he, he throw himself to, to let the tiger eat him. But uh, the mother, tiger, tigress was long long time hunger she could not even open her mouth to eat she could she was shaken you know trampling and cannot do anything so the prince used a pointed uh, uh, wood brand and punch himself you know punch himself here and there everywhere so then so the the blood comes out into their mouth into his mouth Okay, and because of the blood, she keep licking the blood a little bit, a little bit, and then because of that, she regain her strength and awaken. Yeah, and then he has, she has more strength now, and she could get up, sit up, and eat. After eating, they very, all of them very strong. Yeah, and then only the bones left. Yeah. The three tiger go away somewhere else. Yeah. The two brothers sitting somewhere far distance keep waiting and don't see don't see the, the younger brother come back. Suddenly they feel they're burning some burning sensation in their stomach and they their tears coming down. They didn't know anything yet, they just feel that way. At that time maybe the at that time the prince was dying then. Yeah. Oh, at that time, probably the the tiger was eating him, and he's dying. Yeah. So the two brother feel that his they are burning, you know, inside, and the tears is coming down. And then, uh, and then both of them come back and look for the small prince. But they were thinking in themselves, I think maybe uh, my little brother, our little brother, want to help the tigers. Yeah. Therefore, they, they went to the tiger area and they saw only the bones there. Yeah. And then a, a head, you know, a head. A head and the bones stay there, so they know it's him. Yeah. Because they love him so much and they feel such a, such a tragic tragedy in front of them, so both of them collapse on the ground. Lost consciousness for a long, long time, and then they, they woke up. After a while, they woke up. Now the king and the queen was uh, resting under the shade of the tree, and at that time the queen, at the same time, nah, the same time the queen was, uh, same time that the the prince was eaten, nah, the prince was eaten, the the prince has has a dream, yeah, has a dream that there were three, three eagles, you know, went into the forest. Uh, no, no, Jim Cap maybe, I don't know, it's like three, uh, uh, three birds, yeah, three birds, like three parrots uh, flew together in the forest. And then the third, the third uh, parrot is eaten by the eagle, uh, eagle. Yeah. Mm. And then suddenly she woke up then, and she was very scared. The, the dream was so real, and it was so scared. And she told the king, says, uh, Your Majesty, I have just dreamed that three uh, parrots went into the forest, and then the third one is eaten, you know, is captured and eaten by the, by the eagle. Mm. I heard that... Uh, I, I heard that parrot is uh, symbolize our children or grandchildren. Yeah. And the third one was uh, captured and eaten. That I think 
one of our ch children are in trouble, uh, in, in danger. Yeah. And then she just finished her story to the king, and then his two, two princes came back. Yeah. And then the queen asked, Oh, where, 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 where's your, where's your brother? Where's your young brother? Where's your young brother? And then uh, both of the prince kneel down on the ground and say, uh, "Majesty, king and queen, father and mother, my younger brother is eaten by a tiger. But we're not sure whether the tiger caught him and eat or because." Or is because our brother uh, has too much compassion for them and then offer himself. We are not sure. Yeah. So both of father and mother feel like you know thunder. You know, just hit them. Mm. Very, very, very painful. Yeah. And both of them also collapsed, fainted. A long, long time, and then some people. Other try to revive them, and then they all come to the tiger's places, and they saw only bone, and his uh, head is still remain. Because of the head, they will understand as him. You know, the prince always have some different ornaments. Yeah, yeah. Even though the tiger eaten them, but all the clothes and the the ornament of the princely uh, dress is still there. So they they know it's him, and they're all crying. So everybody, everybody cry and lament. It's, it's too much sorrow. Mm. Now, now it is about the prince, who offer himself to the hunger ti tigers. After that, his soul are born is born into the heaven. In heaven, one of the heaven, and then at that time he was thinking himself. Mm. Uh, oh, now I have this uh, wisdom eye. I can see, I can see the five worlds as if I see uh, the uh, line on my on my palm. Mm. Uh, I think maybe in the past lives I have done something good. Yeah, that's why I have such. A good merit right now and good reward. He didn't know yet, <laughs> and he after he, he he thought like that. He looked down. He saw himself, you know. Uh, he saw himself as a prince and offering himself a sacrifice for the hungry tigers. Yeah, and now his uh, body, the remain of his body, is still in the forest and. All the people, parents and, and brothers and all the court officials are crying, you know, very painfully. Yeah. And then he suddenly feels so so sorrowful for the parents and for everybody. Yeah. So he he worry, you know, because the parents are still so ignorant, he felt, you know. He worried that they, they are too too painful, they might die of sorrows. So he uh, flew down from uh, heaven, yeah. he stand uh, in the middle of the air and say, and say like this, obeisance to a kingly father and queenly mother. Yeah. Please do not feel so sorrowful. Uh, do not uh, feel, do not cry too much for the prince. Please go back to the uh, to the um, the palace, yeah, and take care of all the country's people, not just because of one person and uh, damaging your health and and uh, and your uh, mental tranquility. Yeah. And then the king asked. Uh, he he say, king father and queen mother, but they still don't understand. So the king asks, uh, "What kind of god are you? <laughs> Can you tell us how you know about all this?" 
So the prince, you know, as a god, <laughs> say, I am your son. I am the prince Mahatadwa. Yeah, because I offer myself, my life, to to save the three hungry tigers. Therefore, now I'm born in uh, Daosot uh, heavens, one of the high heavens. Yeah. Uh, please know that. Uh, Please know, my Majesty Father, that everything, yeah, also every human, if you have body, if you're born, then one day it will be uh, gone or, or destroyed, yeah. If you have, then one day you don't have, uh, you know, Kong <laughs> Sir. Yeah. If we do a bad thing, then we go to hell. If we do a good thing, then we go to heaven. Yeah. To be born and to die is the is the law in this world. Yeah. Okay. Please do not feel too uh, too sad. Uh, yes. And then we will be uh, damaged to your health and your men, uh, your peace. Yeah. Please wake up and try to follow the practicing uh, of the Buddha's way, you know, like uh, meditation, vegan, make peace, yeah. <laughs> so the king said to him, you, uh, you practice uh, compassion, uh, great compassion, and helping everyone, even animals, but you left us here bereft and painful. Uh, la let us, you know, so so suffering as if we are cut it, cut. You know, our flesh and our stomach, our heart is cut, broken. Yeah. Is it worthy at all? Yeah. So he 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 say that after that. The prince has to use his eloquence, great eloquence, <laughs> and then he tell everything that is uh, all the kind of good and bad, and you know karma and all thing. That is um, extraordinarily more than the worldly knowledge to explain it to the king and the queen. Yeah, in order to uh, repay their love and kindness. After that, uh, the king and the queen seem to calm down, yeah, to, to open their heart, to awaken. Yes. So they don't feel too sorrow, too much sorrow, and they ask, uh, ask the subordinate to collect all the bones in the head, put it in the, in the seven jewel kind of uh, uh, coffin. And then uh, put it in the. Uh, 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 I put it in a stupa, you know? They build a stupa and put his remaining inside. Yeah. So everybody could go and remember, and, you know, make offering. And, yeah. and at that time, and then uh, father, mother, and son say goodbye then. Yeah. The prince go back to heaven. And all the royal household go back to palace. At this time, the Buddha said to me, to Anand, yeah. Anand, uh, at that time, uh, the king is uh, now is my father. Yeah. And the, uh, the queen at that time is now my mother, my queen mother. Yeah. The Maha Funin now is the Mila, Mila Pusa. The Prince Mahadeva is uh, the Batumak, is one of his disciples, I guess, around there. Yeah. And the uh, Prince Mahatadwa, it, it was me. Yeah, it was one of my incarnations. The mother tigress at that time is this old woman. Now, now is this old woman. And the two sons, two of her sons, are these two um, 
uh, two two tig uh, little tigers before. Long 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 time ago. Yeah. Uh, at that time, I have saved their lives, and now I became a Buddha. I also saved their lives again, and even saved their souls. After the Buddha uh, told us this. I and everybody in the assembly was so happy and so glad and so so all you know so respectful towards his noble uh, sacrifice noble spirit so everybody prays to the Buddha prostrated to him and then leave okay and then left okay then Whew. If you want to go to heaven and you don't uh, believe in the Supreme Master Ching Hai or whoever that was, <laughs> you can go offer yourself to the tigers <laughs> and then you can go to heaven right away. <laughs> Would you like that? Yeah. Because you always say two and a half hours too long. Meditate too much. Yeah. <laughs> Aching here, pain there, cannot see it. Yeah. So if you offer to the tiger, it's quick. No? Why not? <laughs> then, then you don't have to meditate every day, two and a half hours, or, or even more, you know, and then eat vegan and all kind of stuff. And be vegan, make peace, and all that. Huh? The, the tiger eat you quick, you die immediately, go heaven. Huh? Yeah. Even can, uh, you know, resurrect and come down and talk to your parents. Yeah. And if your parents did not believe before, heaven and earth before, if he saw you standing in the middle of the air and eloquently talking to them like that, they immediately go to Supreme Master Ching Hai and practice. <laughs> yeah? You don't like anything. Huh? Don't like meditation, but don't like offer yourself to the tiger. <laughs> okay. I ask you, okay, why is that? Just to offer your body to the, the three tigers, why is that you born in such a high heaven? Uh, this is one, one of the third heaven, understand? One of level on the third heaven. Middle third heaven. Yeah. Middle third uh, level of consciousness. So, so I ask you why. Yeah. Sometimes you sit so long and you don't even know if you're second level yet. Uh, sometimes you think you're still on the third heaven. Uh, or on the second heaven, because you don't know if you're third heaven, or sometimes you know, but you have to sit there for many days, you know, and be vegan, make peace with everybody, you know. <laughs> make peace with your mother-in-law, with your stepmother, with, <laughs> with, a, with a lousy neighbors, and uh, with your cat, your dogs, and with your sister, brothers, and your husband, and your children, and make peace with everybody. Yeah. Nonsense。這這這這。對對對。誒,老人比較不方便,坐了坐了。誒。好了,回來nok I say he's older, you know, so the body is different, a little bit more difficult, not convenient like young people. And the dog keep putting their head up like want to go. I say, you're young, you're not old, so you can stay here. <laughs> okay, I ask, I ask you, why is that? Because mostly we think tiger, oh, bad tiger, you know, bad, eating everything else. So if we don't hunt, don't kill the tigers, and then people think, oh, you're already very compassionate and good. Yeah. 
So why is that just offered to such a bad animals? Even then earn you married to go direct to heaven like that. High heaven. Why? 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 Tell me. Good. 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 Very good. Three. All good. Excellent. Good answer. Good answer. Yes, yes. Yeah. Because he really just love. He has just love. At that time, he just has love, unconditional love, absolute love. Yeah. He, when you love somebody more than your life, then you got it. Then, then you really earn that place in heaven. Yeah. Really, because he really just feel, feel sorry for the tiger. Yeah. yeah. The tigers, you know, they are very strong and powerful. And now seeing them laying there, just skin, you know, and bones, could not even move when they see people. Normally when tigers, they see people, animals, they see people, wild animals, they just run away or at least they move or something. No, they were too exhausted. Yeah, because hungry is so long time. And, the, and because the mother, if she, don't, she wants it even to eat children, normally we say that even a tiger is so ferocious, but they won't eat their children. Meaning, no matter how, how, how terrible a person, you know, even tiger, they won't eat their children. But at that time she was so hungry, she was almost feel like as if she could eat the children. Yeah. Therefore, the Buddha at that time feel sorry not for only for the mother but for the two children of the tigers. Yeah, little babies, you know, so so still harmless, innocent, helpless. Yeah. And if the mother die, then the two will die also, because there's no no milk for them. Yeah. At that time already almost no, no milk already. If the mother died, then no more hope for the two tigers. So three will die together. Yeah. It's such a very hopeless situation. So because of that, he felt compassion for them. It's not... Yeah, 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 yeah. But to say this is easy, to do is different. Everybody see tiger, they would run away. Yeah. And not to talk about punching yourself in the throat, so painful like that, so that the blood comes out to help the tiger to eat even. Understand? So this is truly, truly the great example of unconditional love. No wonder he became Buddha after some times, but many lifetime, huh? Long story, you know that already. Yeah, for aeons and aeons, he probably enjoy heaven for a long, 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 long aeons, many aeons, or many thousand, thousand, or millions of years. And then he came back down again, become a human again, and then do something good again, and then I go to heaven. Or but be, heaven is just a by the way; it's a byproduct. But he wants is the wisdom, you know. Compassion is with well, forever wisdom. So therefore, even though he uh, was in heaven and enjoy all that, but he still come back until he reach Buddhahood. Yeah. Wow, well, to become Buddha is so difficult, huh? Long, long. And even then, he has already became like almost like a bodhisattva and is still the, the king of heaven, you know? king of Sathya he always come down and make trouble yeah. and torture him many times even. Yeah. Because he couldn't believe that a person can be so good. Maybe, maybe he do all this so that he can take his throne, you know, replace him in heaven. He, he thinks the Buddha was like himself, just wanting heaven. Yeah, a small heaven. 
rule a small heaven's kingdom. It's, he doesn't know. He, does, he wasn't sure the Buddha really wanted to have the great wisdom and great compassion so that he can save all beings when he's alive and after he die also. After he die, he lent. After the Buddha or the Master go to Nirvana, or uh, to fifth level, they still lend their power to whoever doing good things on this planet or to other bodhisattva, to other master to be, to help other beings. Not like they just go in heaven and do nothing anymore. Understand that? So being a Buddha is not only helpful to beings now, but even in the future after, after they die, after the Buddhas die. That's why sometimes you hear that people pray to Jesus, yeah, uh, Jesus Christ, or pray to Buddha, and then they respond. The Buddhas respond. Uh, Jesus Christ respond in uh, making miracles in their life in some desperate situation if they're sincere. Yeah. Oh, Kuan Yin Bodhisattva, yeah, etc. Yeah. It helps. Yeah, it helps. If you're sincere and pray, if anybody sincere and pray, they will help you. Mm. Uh, they either help you some through living beings or help you to tell you what to do. Like in many cases, uh, the story I told you before, some past Buddha came back, just, even just a voice, and tell the woman what to do to find her, her mother in hell, remember? Yeah. And then she go down to hell, but nothing harm her, you see? She, could, she rescued even all the hell being that day. All, all of them go together with her mother to heaven because she was so good, so filial, and so sincere, and so pure. And then the Buddha can lend the power to such a pure person. Therefore, not only her mother liberated, but all the hell being at that time too. Okay. Uh, all right, huh? So if you don't want to offer your life to the tiger, then <laughs> and please meditate <laughs> at least two and a half hours a day and be vegan, make peace. Huh? Meditate, be vegan, make peace. Three things. Yeah. It's good now. Mm. That is good. Similar to when you help the other being, you know, like. Uh, like the handicaps people remember last story? Yeah. The Buddha say the merit is like just as if make offering to the Buddha. Many, 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 many thousands of millions of years merit. You will be born in rich family, famous family, have happiness, many lives. If you're born as a human. Or you're born in heaven and enjoy a long, long, long time in heaven. Understand? Yeah. So helping the helpless Helping the needy, and no matter where, no matter what, is really helping yourself. The reward is more than, more than anything you can imagine. Yeah. So many times uh, I, I ask you to go and this and that to help other people in disaster and all that, and you always report to me. You say, oh, we feel like Master Blessing is there, and we feel all happy. And, Elevated, even though in a very troubled situation, but your soul feel elevated, your spirit feel elevated, uh, your heart feel compassionate and sorrowful for the people in in need, but but your spirit feel very very elevated and happy, yeah. and you always thank me. Don't have to thank me. Thank yourself. <laughs> Yeah, because you have love for others. And that's why you feel like that. Yeah. And that is just the beginning. Yeah. yeah, things in life, in your life, will change always for the better after that. And later you go to higher heaven extra because of that. You know? Like, for example, you meditate and you go only to the maybe low level, third level, but because of all your love and in action and compassion, you will be like in the middle or in the high, high third world or on the fourth level. Understand that? It will be extra. Yeah, extra. Extra from Guan Yin method. Yeah. If you have love and compassion, yeah, always reward. Yeah. 
now and later. Okay, it's very good. Now you know, okay? All right, we don't have a tiger here, so you meditate, huh? <laughs> That's for you because you've been working very hard. And I do it late because I know at that time you, you have free. All of you are free. Yeah? Yeah. Many times I also do it late uh, on purpose so that uh, the working people can also sit at least some, you know? Yeah. But I cannot always do that. Yes. Uh, <laughs> the word always is not yong jiu. Always is it's mean uh, yeah, yeah, uh, 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 always it is not forever, okay? <laughs> okay, how la? Okay, you men go. You go find the tiger or you meditate, okay? <laughs> Up to you, okay? <laughs> See you, huh? Thank you for helping everybody. Uh, Today, no cakes, nothing. <laughs> Today's story instead. So, many of you go tomorrow, huh? How many go tomorrow? Oh, oh. <音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音> 特别特别好 他每一天就是说我们以前放那个<笑> 就是那种狗那种爱心<笑><笑> 他往生的时候吧
，他的感受到师傅对我们的哎，太多太多太多的这个亲近了。我们就找河南去募学校。<笑><笑><笑><笑>我们就是还有就是，大家都写下来送苗栗吧，哎，不然我们没有鹅卵以后怎么办？<笑>还有我们的我们家的十六只狗吧，每一只狗都有很非常非常多的这个精彩的故事啊。啊。他们就是包括他们非常的哎那个呃他们的这个孩子啊这些。另外我告诉呃师傅啊，就是我们以前收养了一只特别大的那个呃狗，它的这个这只狗吧，它名字叫卡尔，它的那个爷爷是。呃，就是我们国家的警犬的冠军，他的祖母呃祖母就是他奶奶是香港，他<笑>是香港的这个选美的这个皇后啊，就是他是有身份证的，他就是有有那个非常正统的。当我们收养他的时候吧，就是我们每一天，因为他是大型狗，比师傅的这个还要大还要大，我每天。<笑><笑>我们每一天就是说要要牵着他上山去散步啊这些哈，因为我们住在公园里面，感谢师傅恩典，我们住有很大很大的一个呃地方，所以才有那么多地方。然后有一天，我的那个弟弟也是同修，就带着他出去这个散步哈，因为是公园里面，所以很多人他们也在散步。但是那只狗吧，其实它平常时间非常非常的温顺。对人特别好，就是谁见了谁都不会怕他那种。但是那天我弟弟牵着他的时候吧，他就很着急的看见前面有一个人，他上去一下子就咬了一下那个人的那个屁股啊，<笑>然后他就坐在那里，他一点也不害怕啊。后来你知道师傅，你知道他是干什么的吗？那一个人他是打狗的。专门打狗的，所以说我们那只狗吧哈，特别特别的，就是它从来就是给人那种就是很和善的，但是它为什么会咬它？因为它气氛非常的不好。知道，狗都是这样，它它会知道谁是谁。对对对对，所以你看，就是这种动物的这种故事还有太多太多了。还有就是说我们家，另外就是我给师傅讲一下，就是说那种嗯感觉，就是我刚修行的时候吧哈，就是。那种遇见考验的时候哈，我练武就就通通过了就突破了哈，然后过了一段时间过后，再遇到考验的时候吧，还练武就就突破过，只要念一声师傅的名号哈，马上就通过了。然后今年今年就是有有一段时间就是去年我们看师傅讲那个，就是说呃一心只求上帝，师傅就给十五号奖金以后吧哈，我们就每一天吧就是说都非常精进的这个打坐。有一天晚上就是我打完钟过后，连连续半夜三个小时以后吧哈，我就睡着了。睡着了过后，一会儿那个呃师兄就把我叫醒了，哎，他说你在笑什么？好高兴啊这些哈。后来我告诉他，我说我梦里面看见一个长得非常帅的一个男人哈，他左手拿着钱很多，右手拿着枪哈，就对着就是要叫我就是选择就是要钱还是要什么，不要的话就拿着枪对着我，然后我就哈哈哈,哈大笑，然后他就跑了，吓得。哈哈哈哈哈！就是魔王就跑了，所以说，这师傅这种力量非常非常的伟大。我每天真的感受到师傅对我们的爱，谢谢师傅。OK 了，嗯，还有人呢，叽叽呱呱什么的，太激动了，有时候我听不懂的。慢慢来，以后再再看再听。OK。没事的话，祝大家快乐。嗯，谢谢师傅。该走的话一路顺风，该留的话以后走也是一路顺风。谢谢师傅。谢谢了啊，谢谢谢谢大家那个有目的精神的啊，帮忙同修。嗯 ，OK， 再见。你知道我们要走了，走了。啊，再见，拜拜哈。Thank you.